All right. Um, talk to your partner about your warm-up. Go for it. When you change the y-axis on the triangle, the shape will get taller. Ooh, that's good. Blades. I did something similar to his. Not quite. Okay. It was. So, um, page 30, what was that about? Who can give me a quick snapshot? Justin, page 30. They're going to make a hat for the wumps, right? There's like rules for when you scale stuff up. Yes, when you scale stuff up, or you try to move things. There are rules that make things get bigger, get smaller, as well as move them on the grid. And that's kind of what the kids were finding out is that, oh, wow, like there's different things that can make, make my objects move, or my objects get bigger, my objects get smaller. So up here, I, I gave you this grid. It's got X and Y already. It's got the two ordered pairs. Right? We know that this is an ordered pair, that's an ordered pair, and that's an ordered pair. And I have to find these ordered pairs um, on my, on my um, graph paper. So the ordered pairs are there. But then here it says 3x and y. So you should have filled in this um, table. So my new ordered pairs are going to be different. So I would go 1 into the 3x, that would give me 3, and then my y would give me 3. And then this into x would give me 9, and that into there would give me 7, that into there would give me 15, and then that into there would give me 3. Over here, I have x is all going to be the same as the original x. But I have 3y, so I'm going to get 9 here, 21, and 9. So if I think about these coordinates on this graph, what's going to happen to this triangle here with my new ordered pairs? With a new scale of 3 for x and no scale for y. Talk to your partner. What's going to happen? What's going to happen? No, answer the question. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, Ashton, what's going to happen here? What's going to happen to this triangle that I'm making here? It's going to get wider. It's going to get wider. How do you know it's going to get wider? Oh Otis. Because you're multiplying it um, three times and then it's x-axis. So That's great. So because I'm multiplying the x-axis, we're going to move these points this way. So if this is my original triangle, ABC, my new triangle, how much wider is it going to be? Uh, three times wider. Well, what's another way to say it besides three times? Uh, 0.3. 300% wider, right? So if that was one, now my new one is going to look like this, the base. What about the top part of the triangle? What, what's it going to look like there? It's going to get shorter. Um, Cam? It's going to be shorter because you're extending it out that way, so it's going to take all the tallness and bring it down. Hmm. That's not a bad guess. Tatiana? Yeah, because look, my Y's never changed, did they? So it's going to be the same height. But now we have a very short but very wide triangle, right? All because of this scale factor here on the X, which then blew it out this way. So my next question is, now that you, get, you guys know what similar fig figures are, 
same shape, corresponding angles, corresponding sides. Mm -hmm. Is that a similar figure? Talk to your partner. Mm -hmm. So, one of these applies. It's the same shape still. But, hold on. Does it have corresponding angles? This angle here, angle A, is not the same as if we called this D. This one's shorter. You notice that? It's got smaller, this angle here. And this angle over here, B, let's say that's a 90. This is bigger than 90. So what we lost in angle on the ends was gained in angle in the middle. So they are not similar. They're similar. They're not the same. No, no, no. They are not similar figures according to mathematical rules. Oh, okay. Mathematical rules says all three of these. And corresponding sides. The bottom was increased by three. Percent. Were the, yes, by, by three percent or three hundred percent. What were the sides increased by three hundred percent? No. No. So they're not corresponding. It means that these would all have to be proportional, but they're not. Okay. So they're not similar. So what's gonna happen here if I was to draw this triangle? where the x stayed the same, but the y was multiplied by 3. Talk to your partner. Taller. Okay, what else? The base would stay the same. So I just listened to Eli. I was listening to Eli Ashton. He said the base is going to stay the same because the x value isn't changing. So this triangle is going to be the same width as this one. But it's going to be 300% taller. Three times taller. Because we're multiplying y. So y changes the height. x changes the width. So that's these are really two important things to understand about... Um, ordered pairs. And if I was to take a scale factor and I was to change one of them, but not both of them, I'm not going to have a similar figure. So tell me, if I was to multiply this by 3 and that by 3, would I have a similar figure? Talk to your partner. Yeah. Yeah, and why? That's that's a great way to say it, Dawn. You guys are done? Okay. So if I was to have the same scale factor on both of these, it is like having the exact triangle, except it would be much bigger, three times bigger. But it's the exact same triangle, just three times bigger. So it is a similar figure. Okay, that's really important to understand that. And that's where we're going today with um, our learning target, the yeah, ICAN, is we're still working on the scale drawings or geometric figures, but today we're not doing WOMPs. We did that yesterday. We will continue on finishing the WOMPs, but then we're going to move on to the hats because the hats have a really, something a little bit different. Okay? Something. Bingo. So, hey, so um, I'm going to be here Monday morning. For those of you need to do retakes, I had a number of kids. I think I had like nine kids this morning doing retakes. I'll be here again on Monday, but then there'll be a break. I'm not going to be here like Tuesday or Wednesday by any means. So if you're an athlete, you want to be here on Monday. Okay? And you need to have this filled out. I will check this first thing in the morning. Okay? Austin. Are we going to be able to use those for the test? No. Um, 
That's a really good question, though. No, you can't use them for the test. Any other questions about this for retakes? All right, I'll be here Monday. It took most kids around 45 minutes today to finish that, so make sure you're here early. Um, moving on. We are going to go right by the homework, and we're going to go to this. All right. Please pull out your learning for today. 2.2. Hats off to the wumps. So we already decided that when we multiply an x-coordinate, we change the width of the image or the object. Okay? X is going to change the width. So... My question to you, what happens if I multiply by a decimal? If I multiply by less than one? Ooh, it gets smaller. What did you say, Shmini? It gets smaller. It's going to get smaller. So if I multiply by less than one, it's going to shrink. How about this? What happens if I multiply by a negative? What is going to happen? If I multiply my x by a negative, what's going to happen? Talk to your partner. So, here's my positive quadrant. So if I'm, if all I do is change my x to a negative. What's going to happen to that image? It's going to go No, not below. It's going to get rotated and it's going to be It's going to be over here. That's what I meant. So, when we multiply the y coordinate, finish that sentence. What happens? We we change the width and we multiply x, so what what happens when we change the y? Finish the sentence. Write it. Write it down. Wait, by a positive or a negative? If we multiply the y coordinate, what will change? Eli, you writing that down? Write down that sentence. So, when we multiply the y coordinate, what happens to it? So up here, look. If I ch if the x coordinate is multiplied, the width changes. So if I multiply the y coordinate, the height changes. Yeah, okay? The height's going to change. Okay, if I multiply by a decimal like 0.3 or 0.25 or I multiply by 3 fourths, does it get bigger or smaller? Smaller. smaller. So if it's anything between 1 and 0, it gets smaller. If it's one or greater, it gets bigger. So what happens if I add and subtract? That's what we're going to look at today. So here, I'm going to do this first one so you understand how to treat this. So if I have x, here's my x um, axis, my y axis. These are my ordered pairs. So I go 2, 2 plus 2, 4. 4 minus 1. Five. I got a new ordered pair. Four minus one, one is three. Three. My goodness, I'm adding. Thank you, Schmidt. Hey, I was just checking if you guys were awake. That's all. Hey, uh. <laughs> all right. Four plus two is six. Eight minus one is seven. Eight plus two. I hope so, huh? And then nine minus one is eight. 3 plus 2 is 5, and 5 minus 1 is 4. Hey, I noticed a pattern. All right. This is what I'd like you to do. I would like you to graph the original shape 
object on your graph paper. And then I'd like you to graph the new one which has been added to x and subtracted from y. But before you do that, you stinker. You went ahead, Peyton. Shame on you. Talk to your partner about what you think is going to happen to the shape. Make a prediction. Peyton, don't make any predictions. Talk to your partner. Hey, guys. Can we pause? Pause one second. Cam, Dylan, hold on. When you talk, this is a great opportunity to think about the ways and how we talk. Disagree, agree, I notice. Another way I thought about it was use the anchor chart. Okay, now go and talk. So what do we think can happen? I just plotted the original. Connor. Okay. So you're looking at this and you're saying, well, I'm adding two, so I think the base is going to get wider. I'm subtracting one, so the height's going to get small. Go ahead. Figure it out. Okay. Plot them. Thank you, Payne, for covering your results. Ten's right there. Oh, we don't use that dot in the middle. Nope. Okay. Don't. Sorry. Then why is this good dot in the middle? It's just the kind of, it's the one that I found, the image. Okay. Can we plot the uh, different one? Right? Yeah, you can plot the next one. You the, you done, Tatiana? You you just split them up. You made a mistake on one of those. So Schmidty just said, "Wait, what? It just moved." It doesn't change shape at all. All it does is move. And which way did it move? It moved right and down. So now I want you to think. When I add and subtract with coordinate, with ordered pairs, what happens? It moves. moves. Is it still a similar figure? Yeah. yeah. It is exactly the same thing. It just moves. The shape doesn't change. It just places in a different part of that quadrant. Okay? So, if I was to add 5 instead of subtract 1, what would happen to the, sh the red? It would go up. You say it would go up. Why? Uh, because you're adding on the y-axis and the y-axis is like height. So it's just going to move it up, right? Shape's not going to change. It's just going to go up. Every single one of these points is going to be five points higher. So when we multiply ordered pairs, what happens? Shape changes. It gets bigger, gets smaller, right? It changes. But when we add or subtract on an ordered pair, what happens? It just moves. It's, this is pretty cool. Like, because your initial instincts to think like, this is going to, like, change the height, too, like, multiplying, but it well, doesn't. Yeah, they're both changed. It doesn't. All it does is move that shape around your quadrants. Oh, yeah. Ah. What happens if you add or subtract and in one ordered pair, but in, let's say, you add to the Y, you multiply the X. What happens when you multiply? 
Right? If I multiply by a number greater than 1, it's going to get bigger. If I multiply by a number, Eli, between 0 and 1, what happens? It gets smaller. So, and then the other one, it's just going to move it. Now, you might find ordered pairs. Austin, you might find ordered pairs where you multiply and then you have to add. So not only is it going to get bigger or smaller, but it's also going to move. Okay? Um, so we already answered those two questions. Your job today. Okay. We have 2.1. We're going to finish on that. This is, this is 2.1 on page 28. B, remember, we're only doing three, mug, zug, and lug. Do not do bog, do not do glug. C, all, I want you to make sure you answer that. Then we're on page 2.2. Page 2.2. Problem 2.2, page 31. A, all, and B, you probably, and only do four of the hats, don't do five. We don't need to do the fifth hat. Now, I was, hold on, I was super clever the other day. So, you guys, you got this yesterday, right? Yeah. On the back, 2.2, the hats. Uh, because you're going to put two on one and two on the other. So you're going to make two objects on one and two objects on the other. Questions? All right, let's get going. I'll come around. 2.1 is yesterday, so you were on either one of these. I don't know if you'd finished all three mug, zug, and mug, but if you didn't, you want to finish. Then go to C. That won't take you long. Then you go to 2.2. Yeah, that's what I thought. So remember, 2.2, Connor. 2.2 is on the back of that sheet. All right, let's get going. I'm gonna put some music on.
Wait, no, that's for a different problem. We can grab paper. Oh. Okay, guys, I'm going to start writing names down because this side conversation is about one person asks this question out loud. Doesn't work for me. Does not work. It gets everyone off task. So if you want to be off task, you'll be in here Monday for a full 45 minutes. Stop. What's whose? So what you have to do is you have to finish Mug's hat by looking at the points. And it's oh, okay. bottom. Does that make sense?
lab sheet 2.2. So that means they're not a similar figure. So not both of them. One of those is a similar figure. The other one is not. Exactly. He, but, but Zug is not an imposter because he's just as tall as he is wide. But, but Lug got really short. Right? So he's an imposter.
or 0.33, right? You can do 0.33 fax. Does that make sense? And because they're talking about silence, they're just talking about these, right? Yeah. Want to go up and down? Now I'm talking about these. Oh, okay. So um, just take a second and pause here. So if I'm going to C, I'd like everyone to go to C on page 28. It says, compare the characters to mug. We're only doing two characters. Okay, we're comparing mug to zug and mug to lug. So let's compare them. What do we know? Otis. Um, mug is um, smaller than... So mug is smaller than lug, okay? That that's a comparison. Can we get deeper? Um, lug looks very strange. He looks a lot different. Why? Because he's an imposter. He is an imposter, but what makes him an imposter? He got wider. So lug is how much wider than mug? Well, isn't mug a fourth of? Mm -hmm. How much wider? Is lug than mug? Say it again, Braden. How much wider? Or was it you, Austin? Austin, how much wider? Uh, hold on. I was just wait, wait, wait. Is it two or two? I got it. I got it. Three times wider. That's a better comparison than saying one's bigger, one's small. You know he's three times. How do I know that lug? is three times wider than mug. Because when I go over here, it says so. It says right here. 
3x and y. That means he's the same height. You could say that. They're the same height. And you could also say he is 300% wider. Okay, you could say he's three times wider. What about when comparing Zug? What do we know about Zug? What do we know about Zug? Connor? He's twice as wide and... And twice as high. Is he part of Mug's family or is he an imposter? He's an imposter. Zug. Or, oh, Zug, is. Zug is part of the family. He is a similar figure because he's the same shape. His angles didn't change because the X changed at the same amount as the Y. So none of the angles changed. If if the X changes different than the Y, angles change every time. If the Y changes different from the X, angles change. But his don't. So he has corresponding angles and he has corresponding sides. Okay, he's 200% bigger. So who's the imposter? Is it Zug or Lug? Lug. Lug. Lug looks similar, but he's not proportional at all. He's just really wide and really short. Um, what are some things that are same about mug and lug? Uh, mug and lug, they both have facial features. Okay, they have the same facial features. What about their angles in their feet? Are they the same? Yes. yes angles in the feet are the same. Okay, what about the height of their feet? Are their feet the same height? Lug and mug? Yeah. Yeah, they both have the same height and feet. Now, lug's feet are really fat, they're really wide. Whereas mugs are really short, but they're the same height. What about their body? It's the same, they're just different sizes. Yeah, same height, but different width. Same height, different width. They're actually, when you think about mug and lug, all of their height is exactly the same because the scale didn't change the height. The scale stayed as Y. It never changed. Okay, what I would like you to do Please put all of this away in your learning tab. Yeah, I know. All of it away. This goes on your learning tab. And you should keep it in order. I'm giving you time right now to keep your binder in order. It's usually in the middle of the unit. Huh? We already have. Oh, were you gone, Ashton? Mm, yeah, we're going to have to do that. It was you and someone else who were going to come in at lunch and do that. I forgot. Remind me, we got to do that. Because you don't want all those papers in there. Okay, um, planners, 3A, 3B, 3C, it's all on page 37. Show me more. So, 3A, 3B, 3C on page 37. You will need graph paper. So you want to grab some. Okay? You can use the back of another piece or you can grab a couple more.
He will. There's small graph paper back there. Yeah. Yeah. How many sheets are there? Two by two. Three. How big is it? Very big. Oh my god. Okay, so. Okay, as you guys are grabbing that, I want you to listen up. Um, so we were talking about scale. And we scaled some things today. You finished Lug. Lug had a scale on his x-axis, but no scale on his y. And we know that scale, when I scale something, it changes the shape of it, whether it's big or small. So here are my questions. If I wanted to move the triangle to the right on a coordinate plane, what rule would I apply to either x or y? And this should be a complete sentence. This should not be a one-word answer. Sorry. Right, we don't, I don't expect one-word answers on these. What rule would I apply to move the triangle to the right on a coordinate plane? Do you need to do math so I want to move it to the right. Jayla? Maybe subtraction? No, you're close Daddy. though. What would it be? Adding. And what would I add to? X or Y? X. 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 I would add to X. It Then it's going to move it to the right. Close cut. Nope. I know, after school. After school, after not school. now. Yeah. Yeah. Um, all right, next. If I wanted to make the triangle wider, what would I do to X or Y? I want to make it wider. Cam? You would, uh, you would change, you would... Uh, I know, I was ready to the question before I even knew how to answer it. I know. Um, I'm actually all right, Schmitty? Wouldn't you multiply the X-axis? By a number greater than one. one. You've got to have that on there. So I would multiply the x by a number greater than one. That is going to make it wider. If I multiplied y, what would happen? It would get taller. Get taller if it was greater than one. All right, guys. Great job. Yeah, don't forget that. I hope you're coming to the game. I'm pretty sure you're on here, but I don't know.